Well, this would be one of those days when an optimist would be very, very happy because the optimistic scenario actually played out. <laughs> so uh, yesterday we were talking about the fact that maybe oil had maxed out and that maybe interest rates had maxed out and it was time for both of those to go down. Well, they both did yesterday. So were they listening? <laughs> it, it also might be that uh, uh, that the PCE folks were also listening and knew that we needed to be at least at 3.9. Thank you very much for following this channel. This is Randy Kirk. Yes, I'm crazy. I'm nuts. Absolutely. But these folks are not. Daniel R., Edwin N., YouTube Patreon, Jeffrey H., and John T. have all been part of the Patreon group since the beginning. Thanks to each and every one of you who is in the tribe, <laughs> this is the Randy Kirk tribe. Yes, the Patreon. So if you want to join Patreon, you know what to do. But in the meantime, if you just watch, that's great. If you like, that's even better. If you subscribe, hallelujah, <laughs> hit notify if you want to be reminded of upcoming shows. And um, that's that's what I got for you. Let's go into the details here. The personal consumption expenditures index. They couldn't have had a weirder name. Anyway, that price index, the core excluding food and energy increased only 0.1% for the month. This is the big news. This is why the Dow and the S&P and the NASDAQ and Tesla are all screaming higher this morning. Everybody was expecting 0.2%, which would have been fine. The market might have even been up this much or maybe a little less if it had come in at 0.2%, but no, it came in at 0.1%. This gives credence to what we've been saying all along about the true inflation numbers being correct. On a 12-month basis, the annual increase for core PCE was 3.9. That matched what the forecast had been for this particular uh, this particular uh, month. So with those two things in mind, well, see, uh, if you include food and energy, headline PCE increased 0.4% on the month because why? Because of gas and oil and 3.5% from a year ago because oil, <laughs> because oil, <laughs> that's the only thing that we're really talking about at this point. Everything else is fine, just oil. Consumer spending was up 0.4%. Some people said that was partially because of oil, but it was up 0.9% last month. So that one I don't understand. Uh, personal income was also up 0.4%. All of these were in line. Uh, Trueflation continues down a tick to 2.63 this morning. Um, all in all, outstanding information with regard to the inflation fight. Um, I so, is, the, is the war won? Maybe. <laughs> Certainly all the battles are being won. Uh, truck tonnage continued to march upward toward after bottoming out in April. So this is like five months, four or five months in a row now that truck tonnage has been inching up, inching up, inching up. It is not back to normal levels yet, but it is a way better than it was back in April. The third revision of the GDP and the GDI numbers came in yesterday, and they were pretty close to the same. Uh, they were these were just the revisions. In other words, they weren't revised up or down compared to the previous numbers that had come out. All of these were in line with what we what everybody thinks is happening right now. The economy is going along fine. In fact, it would be in the uh, Fed's mind, it's going along about perfectly. Again, they like to see about a two percent uh, 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 GDP increase. That's they, they don't want to see it at five and they don't want to see it at zero. So uh, we're looking at Goldilocks again, like we were a few weeks ago. Therefore, according to the Randy crystal ball, <laughs> there is no current reason to stop the next leg of the bull market. There is no evidence that future inflation is going to be worse and pl plenty that it's going to continue down to the 2.5 range at least and maybe lower, but right now I'm going with inflation at about 2.5%. Therefore, the Fed will not be raising this year. The economy shows zero threat of going south. Please let me know in the comments, Is, any, is it, do you see a recessionary threat? 
The only inflationary threat, the only recessionary threat is oil, and oil would have to go way higher. It would have to go to like 130, 140, maybe even 150 before it would really start to impact the economic or the, the, the economy in any serious way. And it would have to stay there for a while. It couldn't go up to 150 for a week or a month and then bounce back down to 110. It would have to be at 130, 140 and just there for a month after month after month. I don't know anybody that's suggesting that's going to happen. Well, okay, there's like one guy, I can't remember who it was, who thinks that might happen. And he put it at a low percentage rate, just a chance that it could happen. So no other serious analysts are saying that's what's going to happen. And you know, my position is oil is going to maybe get to 105. I think it will, even if it gets to 100, 105, it will then fade back into around the the area that it is now. And uh, that all depends, of course, right now on the Saudis, because the president of the United States is not willing to make any kind of a stand with regard to uh, uh, trying to take on the Saudis with domestic production or any kind of statement even in terms of making sure that the price stays under 100. Now, that does not mean, none of this means that Tesla will not have a negative day on Monday as news is still news. I see the market in general, the bull will now continue on its next leg and any kind of news could slow that down or have a a bad day or a bad week. Uh, But right now, the inflation thing is done again. And the interest rate thing is done again. Uh, Larry and I are going to talk later today about the the long-term problems associated with bonds, uh, the long-term problems associated with the government overspending and with the interest rates that are now helping to increase the amount of our deficit um, and and the monthly, you know, month over month, quarter over quarter deficit spending. Um, All of that is problematic and could create a real problem for bonds in the future. But as I said yesterday, I don't see any near-term issue with regard to bonds. Bonds will now be headed down. I'm sorry, not the bonds, the yields. Bond yields will be headed down. Bonds will be headed up. A bunch of people said yesterday, I saw two or three headlines saying, this is not the time to buy bonds. This is not investment advice. I don't see over the next three to six months, I don't see how bond yields go up. They're not going to go up. They only have one place to go. That's down. Not investment advice. I am not an investment advisor. Um, So uh, I think 440 for Tesla, uh, 440,000 roughly deliveries, roughly uh, production uh, is baked in. Uh, Production could be 435 or 430 based on who you're listening to. I don't think that'll change anything. Uh, uh, Shipments could be 435 or 440 or 445 or 450 or 455 or 460. (laughs) There's a bunch of different folks with a different idea of what that's going to be. I think I said the other day 460. I don't really care. I honestly don't care. Um, Any of those numbers are probably not going to shake up anybody very much. I think over 460, uh, Tesla could uh, definitely benefit if it's at 460 or higher uh, on the shipments. However, it doesn't matter. I'm looking at the overall year number. I want 1.8 plus, preferably 1.83, 1.84. But even that, if it's 1.8, 1.81, 1.79, it's not going to matter. Tesla is way above the 50% per year promised. Uh, On average, starting with the year 2000, you are, I mean, I'm sorry, 2020, you always have to keep in mind, that's what Elon said, take the 2020, 500,000 and 50% per year on average. And we're way, we're going to be way above that. Preferably though, I'd like to hit the 1.8. From realtor.com for some additional uh, interesting news, pending home sales tumbled in August, falling 7.1% from July's level to 71.8. That's an index, set the 71.8 index as mortgage rates reached a two-decade high. It has nothing to do with mortgage rates. Can I say it any more frequently than I don't understand? <laughs> I just It's not about the mortgage rates. There's no inventory. Whatever good homes that go on the market sell immediately. This month's pending home sales index is the lowest in the data's history back to 2001. Well, duh, we have the lowest inventory by far in history. By far. It's not even close. (laughs) Except for in April 2020 at the outset of the pandemic. It has nothing to do with the pandemic. Well, it has something to do with the pandemic. It just has to do with the fact that nobody's building houses. This drop is in line with the, oh, and that nobody can sell their houses because they got 3% interest rate. 
on their mortgage. This drop is in line with the recent month's new home sales down 8.7%, which are also based on contract signings. Despite falling in August, new home sales remain 5.8% higher than the previous year, while pending home sales continued to lag last year's levels in August, 18.7% down. Anyway, um, yeah, I mean, what can I say? I, I, there's nothing to be said. Uh, interest rates have to be come down so that people can afford to sell their homes. They're stuck. I'm stuck. Not that I want to sell, but I'm not selling my my homes. Are you? Tell me in the comments below. Is anybody going to sitting on a three percent, a three point three, three point five percent interest rate mortgage? Are you going to sell your home? Is there a chance? Not a chance. You'd rent it out before you'd sell it. Well, you're not going to see this in the Main Street Press, but Elon met with Jewish leaders for an hour and a half on Spaces yesterday, and afterwards received almost universal praise for the time spent. He says that he is aspirationally Jewish. <laughs> I know from time to time I've said, I feel like a little tiny Elon. And this is a weird one where we're so much the same. He went to Hebrew school when he was a little kid. He says that more than, more than not some of his friends are Jewish, but two times as many as, as are, are Jewish as are not. Um, I was raised in a 97% Jewish city outside of St. Louis called University City, Missouri. Um, and all of my, uh, the, I didn't go to, I didn't go to Hebrew school and I felt bad because I, because all my friends were there every day after school. And, um, yeah, most of my friends in my life have been Jewish. So, uh, yeah, Elon, I get it. You cannot be anti-Semitic. In fact, you know how people who, uh, yeah, there, there's just, I don't, I, I don't know what to tell you. He is not anti-Semitic and he would do anything he could do within reason to stop anti-Semitism because of his background, because of his friends. I don't know. Okay, Elon was also out yesterday promoting citizen journalism as he headed to the border, and he attempted to do a live stream on spaces. <laughs> attempted to. <laughs> Technology is not yet perfect. So he got 40 minutes in. The live stream was interrupted. Not hard to know whether it was the fact that 600,000 of his best friends showed up to listen and that that broke spaces or whether it was the bad reception down at the border. Uh, Elon was claiming bad reception down at the border uh, and he probably, he's probably right. And he got a chance to uh, plug Starlink as a result. So where are we sitting here at this particular moment in time? Uh, with regard to the market's response to the PCE. Well, the Dow is up 75 points. The NASDAQ is up 150. This would be expected because of interest rates coming down. That's going to help the, the uh, high-flying, the growth stocks more than it does the Dow. The S&P is up 23. Let's, and then uh, Tesla is up six at 252.55. Let's look at percentages here. So the Dow is up uh, 0.18. Uh, so 0.18%, the NASDAQ is up over a full percent, S&P up a half a percent, and Tesla up 2.5, higher than any of the other Magnificent 7, but all the other Magnificent are up, in, NVIDIA being the closest to Tesla at 2.21. Of course, all of the Kathy Wood stocks are up dramatically, a couple of them even more than Tesla, because that is what's going to happen when interest rates come down, and that's what's going to happen, and is interest rates are going to come down. The treasuries are going to come down. That's going to affect mortgages. That's how you. That's how mortgages are determined. It's not determined by the Fed. Mortgages are determined by the interest rates that are in the treasuries, our corporate bonds. They are, uh, and you can watch bond rates. That's how you can watch mortgage rates. Yes, there's supply demand issues as well, but Overall, it's a trend that has that takes place as a result of that. How did I learn that? From my friend, Bill Raymond. If you need a mortgage, you need to look up Bill Raymond. His information is down below. I don't have the phone number written down right now, but the information will be down. If you're looking for a mortgage right now, or you know somebody who's looking for a mortgage right now, this guy's in the top 1% of all mortgage lenders in the country. I've known him for 15 years. He's amazing. And so look him up. He's down below. You could also look up my buddy, uh, Shayla Chamberlain, if you need his great CPA. Uh, some of you may have not filed yet. October 15th is almost here. And if you haven't filed, call her. I'm not sure she'll have time because she's pretty busy right now. But 
if you're, this is also a great time to call Shayla if you want to get ahead of next year. Now, remember, neither one of these people are paying me for these advertisements. They're paying me in general for their marketing. I'm doing this out of kindness and because they're my friends. Anyway, um, uh, listen, um, I don't know. There's one on the wall right there. You can see it right there. There, There is, you want to buy these. I am now getting reorders. Yeah, people are getting them and seeing that they're even better than they look on my show. Okay, and they're going, oh my gosh, this is great. I know my friends are going to want one of these. And so they're coming back and they're buying. Oh yeah, I got one. I'm I, Now I need three. Um, a great gift, great for your house. Um, I went around yesterday. You'll see some pictures maybe later. Uh, I took some pictures on my refrigerator and in a shadow box and all kinds of fun things. You can put them up anywhere in the house. They look great. Um, it's just, it, and then, oh yeah, you can use it for what it's intended. You can use it to open your beer or open your, your, your drink that comes in a bottle because it's a bottle opener. All right. Let's see. Is there anything left I need to tell you? Uh, was there any great shows on yesterday? There was a great show on yesterday around the midday. I will put a card right here. Absolutely. Nobody watched it. <laughs> I'm, I'm very confused about why that show got like no attention at all. Maybe could you go back and take a look at it and then put in the comments below on this one or even over there why nobody was interested at all in that topic? I mean, it's, it's the lowest amount of views that I've had in, I don't know, months. Crazy. Anyway, all right. I, that, I'm that i out of here. That's enough. Oh, ooh, no. Oh, my goodness. I forgot. I didn't go over those other numbers and they were important. Are you still here? Um, let's go over those other numbers. Because today they were important and I completely forgot. Um, let's see. Uh, Bitcoin is down, but still right around 27, which is good for, for that. The dollar is going to max out. Um, gold is up slightly this morning, but still now under 19 at 1888. Oil is down now at 91.54. It was up earlier. It's down now. And then finally, bonds are down strongly. Could potentially drop below 4.5 again on the 10-year Yield and and I always say when I say bonds are down, that means yields are down. <laughs> yields, I sometimes forget to say bond yields are down. And then the two month is up. Figure that one out. But of course, the two year is down. Uh, the yields are down strongly. Also, the two month the yields are up strongly actually at five point four six two. Go figure. The three month, which that other fella, I forget his name. Uh, that's unchanged this morning. All right, now I'm out of here. That's enough. You've seen enough of me this morning. It's been great. <laughs> Talk to you later. It's been great talking to you.